the man who loves walking will walk further than the man who loves the destination. So what's happened along that process? You've learned to love the journey, right? You love the journey. Man, when you love the journey, the goals just happen. The, the, you hit milestones as a side effect, right? Because it doesn't matter. At that point, I don't care if I can lift this much weight or run this fast. I mean, that's cool and it's great and I love it, but I don't love it as much as I love the journey. I love the journey. What does the journey consist of? Sucking at something, failing, getting better, learning, start a new journey, start it over, do it again. Oh, the journey now involves now I'm aging. My joints hurt. How do I figure that out? Oh, the process. Here we go. And so when you fall in love with the journey, everything else takes care of itself. Hey guys, so I just got back from uh, my trip in London. I did an appearance there at the Arnold uh, Sports Festival. Clearly, you can tell I'm jet lagged and uh, kind of just need to move the body and flush out everything that I'm feeling. So I'm jumping in with Saxon. We're doing a three round workout. Um, it's got strict handstand push-ups, chest and clean and jerks. I don't know, I think, is it 21, 15, 9? 21, 21, 9. Did you say 15? No, 15. 21, 21, 9. Damn. Although it was 21, 15, 9. Maybe I'll reconsider this, but no. Um, so, yeah. First, we, first workout I've done since I was here last uh, in Nashville. I thought I would actually work out, but I left Nashville Friday afternoon got into uh, London or the UK um, early in the morning on Saturday morning then um, went and seen actually Craig and Jazz team uh, Richie or H Hustle Made however w whatever you want to remember them by went and seen them then did my appearance on Sunday and then flew out Monday uh, to Nashville and only got back this morning early this morning and it's Tuesday so um, it's been a few big few couple of days so let's do it so we saw you on the news what are we going to do next year then what's the plan oh well uh, great question actually uh, for the 2023 season hang on hang on what's that Shane oh yep yeah, hang on hang on that for a moment yeah 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 let me know how that feels if it is funky we won't do it righto let's see the camera shake put a shaky filter on it it's not me what's gonna shake stabilizer <laughs> yeah yeah I honestly had a decent modification of course. What do you have? Hang far from the rig or are you just gonna do it again? Is that the day of the way you run the bike? <laughs> oh what's happening here? Oh yeah. The greens. Is that a guy's bar? Is that no, you? no, this is my bar. See the arrow? So I heard they kept an open registration for you for Rogue. Yeah, how did you hear about that? No. Yeah, I uh, I couldn't decline my invitation. And like I actually was like, hey, I'll do like Legends and um, you know, I still want to like physically be a part of like the Rogue Invitational weekend and stuff. And and you know, my, the first thing was, was like, hey, he's like, I'm gonna say no because you need to focus on like getting your back better. And this is like immediately after the game. And um, I was like, yeah, but I, I just can't decline. Like I physically cannot press decline or email that in. And she's like, well, I'll handle it and I'll keep it open for you. Because like she just had, like she had to reassure me that like, hey, like there's still an option if you need it and it's not taken away from you, but you're not gonna be forgotten. <laughs> All right, so we saw on the news that Tia's gonna do or she says she's gonna do the 2023 season. Is that confirmed? So for the plans for the 2023 season, oh, hang on, I got a phone call.
What cold now? I, I can feel it in my lungs. <laughs> I feel like cold air. It's 80 degrees. I know, it's crazy. I must be how unfit I am. Yeah, I shut that fan off. It's beautiful today. It feels good though. I like that more than the heat. I thought I liked the heat. <laughs> I like this. this. I was thinking about it this morning. This summer was hot, but short. Yeah. The winter was long. It didn't get hot until like, well, like six weeks out from the games. Yeah, like, uh, until we started training, training, <laughs> training, yeah. May? Like around yeah. May? Even May, like for summer finals, it wasn't bad. Yeah. We were last week. I mean, Knoxville was cool. Yeah. We were in a hot year, you know. Ah. So it's already cool. Uh, it's that hockey. I'm a little basketball. You look pretty rich still. Do you think you're going to stay in better shape this year going in compared to oh, like last year? Yeah, absolutely. Last year I had to like have excess weight just for the weight of the bobsled. So like I was like 20 pounds heavier than like my natural body weight. So like this whole off season, I don't even have to work. Like I don't even have to think about that. So it definitely will be a lot better in weight. Um, I think my body will be able to like, it will kind of feel somewhat um, like relax because like, I'm not putting it through so much strain, where, whether it's actually like, putting on weight or, you know, drastically trying to lose the weight. Um, what else? Do you think I mean, just training any strength, though? throughout it. Yeah. No, nah. I don't think I gained much strength. I think I gained power. I think I definitely gained power through just specific training things that say we still would do similar things um, in my CrossFit training, but the regularity, if that's even a word, like how regular I was doing those things definitely contributed to more power uh, in my training. What else? I, I would say like because I put on that much weight, I was slower in my sprinting for sure. Um, it, I'm just, it's just going to be so much better this off season. Like I can't express how, how, like how much of a hindrance it, it kind of was, um, in a way. Um, but all of that, it's like, you know, worth it, right? Yeah, there and then all the way through. I'm trying to make it look more natural than that. Because what's right now, it's not filled up. There. Yeah, there, yeah. Reaching forward from there, and now tight on that. So what you got? Yep. Set it, then pull. Set it, then pull. So yeah, you want to roll forward with your traps, where we just want to roll forward with our lats. So here, like this. So you, at the moment, when you lengthen, you roll forward rather than lengthen through the torso or the back. Does that make sense? So you will lengthen, rather than trying to lengthen through the lap. And it should be like, to begin with, two stages. So it's lengthen the lap, scap, pull back. Set. Yeah, set the scap. So what we're trying to do is encourage the scap to set each time. So we're trying to find a good, strong position for it and be aware of that connection there. Well, if the rumors are true, 